my hoard. Uh, so unfortunately, I've been really busy over the last week or so. Um, so you don't have a more put together video. But I wanted to take this time to like just sit and chat, a little bit of an update here and there or whatever. Um, if you don't follow my Instagram, uh, we did go back to Universal for my husband's birthday. Well, for both our birthdays. My birthday was on Friday, his birthday was on Monday. We went to Universal on Monday, on his birthday. Um, and we did Islands of Adventure. Uh, we, we focused mostly in the studios when we were on our honeymoon. Uh, we did like a half day at IOA and like a full day at the studios. Uh, so we did, so we did our day day trip day at IOA. Um, we had a ton of fun. Uh, I've never been in IOA for Christmas time, uh, so we did see Grinchmas. We did not see the Hogwarts Castle show for Christmas um, because that is uh, that environment trying to see that show. It's such a crowd and it's such it's such a pushy and shovey crowd too. Like you can be in other areas of the park and be in a crowd and like not get pushed and shoved, but it feels like the closer you get to Hogsmeade and like the the closer you are to the castle, like the more likely you are to get shoved. And like during that show, there's people like just people like shift around and they kind of it's really claustrophobic. Um, and unfortunately, my husband does struggle <laughs> with um, some issues with claustrophobia and. He really, really was dreading the idea of, like, doing all that again, and I honestly, like, I could have gone without him, like, I could have separated, but I just did not want to do that, and, like, to be honest, I don't find it great either, like, I, they really need to work out, I don't know how they would do it, but the way they're running those castle shows at Hogwarts mm, is not good, and crowd control is a mess and the crowds are weirdly rowdy like why why are you so rowdy for the Harry Potter show <laughs> like I know we all are like nerds who grew up and love Harry Potter but like the jostling and it's just you it just you feel so <laughs> I'm like like we went to Grinchmas and like Grinchmas was semi-packed but like we still weren't getting like and that's partially because there were seats, but we weren't getting, like, shoved as we were going in or anything. But there's totally, like, shoving, like, and not even, like, aggressive shoving, but you know what I mean? Like, somebody just, like, doesn't pay attention to what they're doing and, like, throws their shoulder into you just because they're shifting and all that. And that happens way too much during those shows. Uh, so we did not do that. But we did see... All the other lights at Hogwarts, um, all the other Christmas decorations, all the decorations at the front of the park, it's all wonderful. Christmas doesn't touch uh, Marble Island uh, for some reason. Didn't, not, not a lot of Christmassy stuff there, but whatever, it doesn't, doesn't need to be, I guess, but it is a little weird that like so much of the rest of the park is Christmassy. Um, I guess, actually, really, it's just, uh, the, the opening, the, the port of landing, and Seuss, Seuss, and then you skip through the, like, Land of the Lost, whatever it is, um, and there's nothing there, and then you hit Harry Potter, and that's, like, Christmas! Uh, I mean, insofar as, like, it's always, like, got fake snow on it, right? They just put all the lights, but they, like really go out on the lights and the garlands with the snitches and there's a snowman with a like with a what is it a Gryffindor scarf and an owl sitting on his shoulder like it's really cute and then you go out of there into Jurassic Park and Christmas is gone again and there's the, the small King Kong area now and Christmas is not there and then you go into Toon Island or Toon Lagoon and there's still no Christmas and <laughs> Marvel and there's no Christmas and then you get back around and you're like Bleh! Christmas in my face again um, so it's just interesting an interesting experience um, whereas the studios has more Christmas theming throughout um, like all of the areas seem 
somewhat included or have in the past. Um, I've been in the studios for Christmas time in the past. And it seems more like gentle Christmas all the time instead of like, wham Christmas, no Christmas, wham Christmas. But anyway, um, besides the point, uh, one other thing, I am not usually a character meet and greet person because um, my social anxiety, I'm like, what? It's cool to take a picture with characters, but look, what do you say? <laughs> like, like at Disney, I'm just like, sure, I'd love to have a picture with Ariel, but it's going to be like the fastest interaction of the day because I'm just going to be like, hi, I want a picture. Or, obviously, because you line up for the picture, you're just going to be like, hi, I'm here for my picture and then go away because I like, I don't know what I would say. Um, but we did happen to walk out of the comic shop in the Marvel area right as they were uh, clearing the roads for the entrance of the characters for the meet and greet. So we stood there because um, we were like, oh, something's about to happen. <laughs> and then it's a little funny because they just, they just walked down like a small stretch of road, stop, and then disperse and don't do anything else like like it wasn't even they didn't even say anything Captain America is at the front and he just turns around looks at them all nods and everyone goes Pff! and it was like whoa wait we we had to clear the road for that but also what even happened but I mean it's kind of cute but it it'd be interesting if he had said something or maybe he did and I just didn't hear it I don't know <laughs> But, so we're like walking back through and um, Storm and Rogue were out and nobody was like lined up for them yet or anything. And I was just like, this is it. I'm getting a photo. So I actually I got a photo with uh, Storm and Rogue. Actually, uh, Storm and the, uh, I, I don't know what they call them there, but the like handler. Um, actually like popped into the like shop that they were in front of um just for a second um but I just walked up to Rogue and I was like hey can I get a picture <laughs> and um and uh like we had a we had a nice little interaction um my husband was was trying to take the picture with my my camera and like couldn't figure out how to get it out of selfie mode because it was in selfie mode and he was like kind of struggling with it and Rogue was like oh is it in selfie mode Wolverine does that all the time and it was cute <laughs> um but uh, Storm actually came back out, and it was funny because she was like, oh yeah, I just had to go in to complain about all the T'Challa merchandise, and I was just like, and just like took the picture and um, left. Like, a nice, cute little interaction. Like, I'm an adult, so I'm not like, oh my god, this, that, and the other. Like, I'm just like, it's cool. It's cool to take photos with people in cool costumes, and I like that. <laughs> um... But yeah, so so this is like one of my, uh, possibly my first adult character interaction in a theme park because I just usually don't like go over and do that. Um, like I certainly wouldn't have lined up for Captain America. Like Captain America already had like a whole line before he was even in his spot. And I'm like, I don't care about it that much to stand in line for that, which is definitely what you have to do for a lot of characters at Disney and I think that's part of too why like as an adult I haven't been like okay time to go meet Ariel <laughs> time to time to go meet Gaston um even though like oh, all my friends do that like I, I have a bunch of friends and they have all these like cute photos of like so you met Gaston again <laughs> and it, like they're really cute but I'm like it's not important enough for me to wait in line for it. Um, although, something I did <laughs> wait in line for, I had never been on the trolley ride in Seuss Landing. And we had done just about everything else we like felt like doing that day. And uh, I just like look at my husband and I'm like, you want to get on that? <laughs> and he's like, I mean, whatever you want to do. And we walk up and it is a 25 minute wait and he's like do you really want to wait 25 minutes for this and I'm like yeah what else are we gonna do because we didn't have a plan for what to do next if we didn't do that <laughs> so I actually got on that which is 
for me, like, that, <laughs> that ride is the perfect speed for me. Like, it's a great height, it goes a little bit fast, but then it slows down on the hills, <laughs> and the hills are, like, this tall. Um, it's totally my pace, and, like, sure, I'm an adult, and the, like, little story about the sneeches or whatever is, like, we were totally talking to ourselves over that. The people behind us were also two individual adults, so I don't think they were too annoyed by us. We weren't ruining the experience for any children or anything. Uh, we were just talking as we were on the ride, because it's slow enough that there's time time and breath to talk. Um, but it's, a, it's really nice. I really liked it. I just had never been on it before. So just one more thing to tack on at the end of this video. So, the winter holidays, every last one of them is coming up, uh, and with them comes celebrations and usually food, um, because winter, winter is the time when humans are sad, so we had to create a lot of reasons to be glad. Um, and, as all of these are headed our way, uh, I, but, what I have been coveting for a while, you've seen a couple sneak peeks of it because I can't, I can't keep still, um, this is the Happy Planner, uh, this is the classic size, it is a recipe organizer, um, and it's super cute, I love the, <laughs> the, like, grocery bag on the front is super cute, but there's also, like, carrots and celery or whatever, asparagus, um, radishes, like this inside print is super cute, and like the back is just a nice beige, um, this is something I have been coveting for a while, I've wanted, um, to collect all my recipes because I had this like ratty stack of old, um, like Thanksgiving recipes, um, for stuff, and, uh, I've, I've really wanted to be not, like, a, just, because it was just a mess of papers. I really wanted it to be not a mess of papers, and thankfully, I didn't have to, like, build, I thought about DIYing, like, building from scratch and DIYing some recipe cards and all that, but actually, <laughs> Happy Planner has done all the work for me, and it's, it's, this is actually truly super cute. It's got a lot of good prints on, on these, and the backs are cute too, uh, on the dividers here. And the pages, and these are, this is the same thing on the front and back, so, so one, one sheet is two recipes, uh, although I imagine if it was a really long recipe, you could just move on to the back, um, I don't know, I haven't, I haven't actually started writing in this yet, because uh, I just bought this yesterday, and didn't start yet. <laughs> um, I could have, but I didn't. Um, and, and you just have your, like, ingredients, and your prep time, and your cook time, all on the side there. You get to write your directions, and I'm wanting, I want to, like, paste in pictures of the dishes, like down here in the notes section or something, but we'll see how that actually turns out because it's not like I have photos of everything or anything. Um, but like, just my go-to cookie recipe so I don't have to look it up every time because that's what I've been doing. I look it up online like every time I make cookies, every time I make a cheesecake because I've just had these papers that are impossible to keep track of because I never put them in a three ring binder either. And I don't even like three ring binders anymore because I like disc binding because it's so much easier than, like, I hate the rings, I hate pulling them apart, I hate the sound they make, I hate snapping them back together. I love discs. The paper just comes out just, zoop. Easy as pie, ironically. Um, it just goes right back in. I cannot stop talking about how much I love disc bound systems and most especially Happy Planner because they are, they are designed the most well uh, for creative people in my opinion. Maybe, um, 
I might have just sounded like I think I'm speaking for all creative people, but I genuinely, from watching other people talk about happy planners, from looking at other people's happy planners, it does really seem to be designed perfectly for the creative mind. There is also, of course, the, the tool system from Office Depot and Staples has a disc bound system as well. There's no, there's no Staples in my town. So I've, I've never gone and like looked at it because I would have to drive to like, I would have to drive like 45 minutes away to find a Staples and there's no reason to do that. Um, not, not for those things anyway. Um, but I believe Staples actually has a Martha Stewart line in their, their arc bind, uh, arc bind line there. Um, but Happy Planner really is, and just people out there have specifically made so many inserts and so many custom stickers and all that. Uh, there's, there's so much community content for Happy Planner specifically. Uh, Erin Condren as well, although I don't use Erin Condren and Erin Condren is not disc bound, but they're very, they're very interwoven communities. It's just a community where there are so many people creating these things, both, you know, to sell because they absolutely should. Uh, some of this work is amazing. People hand draw and make all these stickers out of it and stuff. Um, and sometimes for free, like out of the goodness of their hearts. And that's amazing. Um, all of this, this accessory, these extra inserts and all of that that I'm talking about, um, they're just, it's such a rich and great community too. And that really, it really does help with, uh, the planner thing to be able to like snap your little pic and put it on Instagram and like actually watch people like find it through one of your hashtags and just be like, like, and it just, it feels really good. Um, as in everyone likes to feel like people like the things they're creating and all of that. So it's really, and it's really, it's a really active community of people really around the world. Even I just went off about it again, again, cannot shut up about happy planner. So yeah, I got that and I'm going to be working on that and that is going to help me get through holiday cooking um, and then will be there for me next year when it's holiday cooking time again. Yay! Um, and forever and always. So on that happier note, uh, I will see you treasures next time. Mm -hmm.